Hi, and welcome to the new Screencastify Submit. Submit is a fast, secure, and easy way for teachers to enable students to record and submit videos. It makes assessment easy and makes it simple to create a video assignment that centers student voice. Here's how it works. First, I can either click New Assignment to create an assignment from scratch, or I can choose from one of our assignment templates, which we swap out every couple of months to help you spark ideas. I'm gonna go ahead and choose our debate prep assignment template to get started. And as you can see, I can edit the title and the instructions of the assignment. For this one, it's should students have to wear uniforms? Tell us your opinion in a video. And I can also easily choose between recording types that I want to request from my students. So either screen and webcam recording, which is great for when you want students to walk through a problem with visuals, or just webcam recording or only screen recording. I can also adjust the privacy settings of the assignment, be that the access to the link or the access to the videos. So I can choose if students are able to view their own video after submission and or if they're able to view each other's videos. I can also assign a point value to my assignment and choose whether or not I want to be notified by email each time a student submits a video. Finally, I can choose how I want to share my assignment. Either I can choose to generate a unique link that I share directly with my students, or I can choose to share directly to Google Classroom. Today, I'm going to choose to generate a link. From here, I will create and share the assignment, and then I will be able to preview how the assignment is going to look to my students. As you can see, it's all within the web browser and they'll see the instructions that you gave them and be able to record with just one click without having to install anything or download anything. So I'm going to go ahead and demo that now. So as you can see, they saw a brief countdown and then they're just recording right away. Um, they can easily start over, they can see your instructions, and once they're complete recording, they hit stop recording, they can try again, or they can go ahead and submit this video to you. And it's as easy as that for your students. So to show you the experience of receiving those submissions, I'm going to head back to our submit home. And as you can see, I have had a couple of other submit assignments, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what the grading experience looks like. Here's a submit assignment that I created and shared with some of my colleagues earlier today. As you can see, I've graded one of the submissions so far. You can see which are graded, which are ungraded. I can either click directly into the student assignment by clicking their name, or I can go ahead and go through our grading workflow up here, which makes it easy to grade all of the submissions in one go. So as you can see, it's easy for me to see our students' submissions. Obviously, this is a colleague, not a student. Um, and assign a grade to her, uh, and then go ahead and click through the rest of the students. From here, once I've graded each of these assignments, I can go ahead and download the CSV with all of the grades and time submitted to use wherever you use your grades, and there are a lot of features that we're excited to be adding and planning in the near future. For example, we're planning to add the ability for teachers to respond with video comments and the ability for students to annotate and trim their videos and more. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.